Uh, my name is CJ Renee Johnson. I am doing the OHV Tour for a Cure. We're doing it with Polaris Industries, who was nice enough to give us a new pink RZR to use on our tour. We chose the color pink because it often denotes cancer research, so it makes the perfect combination. We also work with ATV Source, who does most of our media coverage, and we work with Buckner Trailers, who supplies our trailers for the tour. Um, if you'd like to go to our website, you can find out more information about us. We also have a calendar of events, so you can follow along and go to the different places that we go. And we look forward to seeing you guys out on the trail in 2010. So hey folks, I'm sitting down here today with uh, Richard Browning and Jeff Lusk uh, here at the 2009 Annual Trail Fest right here in Gilbert, West Virginia. Jeff, why don't you tell the folks at home what you got going on here this week? Well, this is our ninth Annual Trail Fest. As you said, we're here in Gilbert, West Virginia. This is a four-day event that kicks off on Thursday, October 8th. We run all the way through Columbus Day on the 12th. Uh, amazing event, uh, four days of open trail riding, uh, three nights. We've got mud pits, ATV drag strips. Tonight is a unique night. We'll have our Vegas Casino night. We'll also have a live auction. Uh, auctioning off probably $5,000 worth of goods to folks from winches to you name it. Uh, it's going to be a good night, but you know, the biggest thing is the trail ride. You know, we've got wonderful trails out here and uh, between the mills and the drag pit and the mud strip, this is going to be an exciting place to be for the next four days and we're going to have about 2,000 riders on the property. This is a heck of a deal, folks, uh, for a family event, a vacation to get away for four days. they got a lot of great stuff going on down here. Richard, why don't you tell the folks at home what you do here in Southern West Virginia and what you think about the annual trail fest and the economic impact that's made on this area. Well, Stephen, thank you very much for having me here today. Uh, first of all, I have to remember which hat I'm wearing today. I, I, I do several different things in Southern West Virginia to promote economic development. One, I work for the Coalfield Expressway Authority, which is a new highway coming through Southern West Virginia. And part of that highway's mission is to promote economic development. And there's no other better, better example of economic development in Southern West Virginia than to have from the Boy Trail System. Events like this tell the rest of the world how we can diversify our economy. As a member of the Western State Virginia State Senate and chairman of the, the Committee on Economic Development, these events like this allow me to take ideas back to the legislature and show my colleagues what can be done with proper investment of tourism in southern West Virginia. Folks, this is just a great time. I come back down here every year for the fall. There's no better place to ride uh, than southern West Virginia in the fall with the leaves changing and all that. We're going to get out here and grab us something to eat, go down and check out the mud pit and the uh, drag strip, come in here tonight with Jeff and check out the casino night, and we'll get back to you. So hey folks, we're here with Lisa and Shelly. Shelly, tell the folks at home where you're from and how far you drove. Uh, I'm from Norwood, Ontario. It was about 13 hours. And, and I'm from Havelock, Ontario, and it's about the same. Yeah. <laughs> Ontario folks, they drove all the way down here to the National Trail Fest right here in Gilbert, West Virginia. We're going to go out here and check out some more people, and we'll get back to you. So hey folks, I'm uh, out here today with Travis Hollins with uh, Yamaha. Travis, uh, what do you got going on here at the National Trail Fest? Well, you know, we came out here to just check it out, see what everybody's doing. We brought the big truck out, we're doing demo rides. Uh, we brought out our new YZ450X and we're just kind of letting people experience it and show it off. I've heard a lot of great things about this bike. What's different about this bike compared to the other bike? Well, uh, what we did is we took our YZ450R that we introduced last year and we made it a more trail specific machine. So we made the tread width narrower so it can fit through the trails. We softened the suspension up. We made the power curve uh, a little bit more uh, forgiving for the trail rider. And uh, you know, just really dialed everything in to make it a, a more, more specific bike for those guys out on the trail. That sounds great. I can't wait to get on this thing and uh, test drive it. They've got a test drive uh, track out back here that you can test all the different models that Yamaha brought out today. So uh, I'm going to go jump on this and we'll get back to you. Wow guys, both these Yamaha 450s have got loads of powers, they're both a blast to ride. The R version has got a wider stance, it's more of a motocross style bike, it's geared a little bit higher. The brand new X version, this baby I really like, it's more for my kind of style riding here in the, the woods of southern West Virginia. You can take this thing right out of the box, take it straight to a GNCC race and tear it up. So hey guys, I'm hanging out here with Chris Voltman with KTM. Chris, why don't you tell the folks at home what you got going on here at the uh, 2009 National Trail Fest. Absolutely, we came out here to support some of the consumers at the Trail Fest. Um, our branding with KTM is ready to race, so we figured let's come out to the trails for a week and get the hands, you know, consumers, the product in the hands of those guys and see what KTM is all about. Chris is hooking me up with a brand new KTM 450. I'm going to go test it out and we'll get back to you.
The cool thing about KTM machines is that they always have a race ready feel. We'll be right back with more from On The Trail. Almost heaven, West Virginia. The world famous Hatfield McCoy Trail System in Southern West Virginia. Come for the trails, stay for the adventure. Find the perfect trail and everything else you need at trailsheaven.com. West Virginia, Mountain Mama. West Virginia, wild and wonderful. Are you sick of your ATV bag zipper getting stuck? Then you need a structured bag with no zippers. Still using that cooler or milk crate with all those messy bungees? Now there's a better way to keep your gear dry, protected, and organized. As the leader in quality and innovation, Tamarack offers a full line of durable ATV bags and boxes. Deck out your quad with the best ATV storage accessories on the market. Give Tamarack a call at 1-800-269-6701 or visit TamarackATV.com today. It's not a mode of transportation. It's not a midlife crisis. It's not a hobby. It's an addiction. At Motorcycle Superstore, we not only understand your addiction, we encourage it. Motorcycle Superstore offers the largest selection of gear, parts, and accessories at the lowest prices. Motorcycle Superstore, feed your addiction. West Virginia ATV Tours is Southern West Virginia's premier ATV company. If you haven't experienced off-road riding in scenic West Virginia, it's time to come and see what you've been missing. At West Virginia ATV Tours, we provide everything, including the ride there. West Virginia ATV Tours uses only top-of-the-line Honda Rencons. They're a breeze to operate for any skill level. All you have to do is make your reservation and be ready to have some fun. Let our qualified tour guides show you why we call West Virginia wild and wonderful. Book your reservation today. <laughs> 